everybody how many of you have faced problems uh, with servants as regards to washing vessels i confess i have had lots of problems as regards to their punctuality commitment to work and their uh, quality of work and many 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 such things and being a stickler for perfection i have had to change many servants frequently i knew the solution to this in the long run would be to buy a dishwasher but like everybody i had my own doubts about how to use a dishwasher for our indian vessels luckily for me i got a chance to use my niece dishwasher which she wasn't using because she had some water problem uh, having used it for a few months i got to know about the functioning of the dishwasher and how effectively it can be put to use to suit indian vessels i finally decided i should get a dishwasher for myself but because there were very limited choice available a few years back we dropped the idea but once when bosch launched their product uh, in 2011 we felt this was the right brand for for us to go for finally we purchased the bosch dishwasher of our choice and this is the model model number is sms40 m52 eu the machine that we purchased was one among the first lot uh, it was totally uh, imported from germany this is an advantage because you can see that the fit finish and quality is of top notch quality and uh, there is a flip side to this too uh, first of all we never got uh, uh, an english manual along with this we only got three manuals which is uh, french german and dutch it is of no use because we don't know the languages thankfully we could get a, a manual english manual downloaded from the internet and uh, we had it printed a bigger size of the manual so it's been very useful secondly the plug point the machine came with a with a european molded plug which has got an earthing configuration which doesn't suit our indian sockets i tried using with this and initially i used to get a uh, mild shock so later we had to cut this down and and uh, fix it with a plug which suits the indian socket and uh, one more thing is the power cord length could have been longer we have just barely managed to fix it it just falls short of stretching so bosch india could have tried to uh, sort out these issues before bringing the machines for sale in india otherwise i have not had any problems with the machine in the last two and a half years now friends you'll all be wondering why i'm talking all these things to you some of my friends and relatives who knew i had a dishwasher had lots of doubts in their mind regarding the use of a dishwasher so i thought the best way to make them understand or clear their doubts and queries will be by making a live demo explaining various things about the working of a dishwasher and uh, as far as i know uh, the none of the company here shows any live demo of the working of a dishwasher let me now show the outside of the dishwasher this is a control panel this is the power on off button these are the four different uh, programs available in this machine and these two buttons are for the delayed start of the machine and this is a vario speed which helps in reducing the running time of the longer program it almost reduces by 50% the running time reduces by almost half the original time and this is the start button this display panel here has got four indicators the upper indicator here shows the remaining time of the cycle and these three indicators are for this is for the water if the water supply is not enough this light glows and these two indicators are for salt and rinsed if they have to be refilled accordingly the respective led glows so the features of my dishwasher this is a door opener let's first look in the inside inside has got two racks this is the upper basket or the upper rack this is a place for keeping the knives and you can place uh, glasses cups small lightly soiled vessels in all these places and this is for plates with uh, smaller diameters and you can insert spoons here and if you straighten this you can accommodate more vessels now there's a spray arm here which has got less nozzles so you can only keep lighter uh, lightly soiled vessels here 
One more thing is this machine, this model has got a, a, the stop rack can be adjusted to keep in three different levels. So if you have uh, taller vessels or smaller vessels, you can uh, adjust it by changing the levels. There are three levels. Now let me go to the lower basket. I just got more place for plates. I can keep larger plates and a uh, lot of place for um, uh, bigger uh, pans, uh, bowls and uh, kadais, even a large cooker. You can keep heavily soiled vessels here because the spray arm here has got more nozzles which enables intensive cleaning to the vessels. And if you have lesser uh, vessels and more of plates, you can straighten the spike here to keep more plates. You can straighten it to keep more plates. Now this can be removed. I will keep it down here to show more features. Now there are various compartments. Now this compartment is for the soap. This is a soap dispenser. I open it like this. I fill the soap here and close it. The soap gets used when once the program cycle starts. Now this other smaller compartment is for rinse aid. Rinse aid is nothing but a liquid which is used to uh, give a shine to the washed vessels in the final stage. You pour the rinse aid liquid here and close it. Now this is the third compartment which is a salt compartment. This is not common salt. It is a special salt for uh, the dishwasher which is uh, used for softening the water. And uh, lastly, this is a filter which I will show you. The food particle gets collected in this and it is a two way filter actually, it is a drain system. It has to be washed once in a while, once in a while for, uh, because all the dirt gets collected here. Just like this. Three things which are required for the uh, dishwasher. This is a detergent which is uh, used for every wash cycle. Uh, this is the rinse aid liquid and this is the dishwasher salt. Uh, both of them are not required on a regular basis. Only when the indicator here glows for a, asks for a refill, you have to refill it in the respective compartment. Uh, you see that all of these are of a brand called Finish which is uh, the brand which is generally recommended by the, most of the uh, dishwasher manufacturers. Uh, in, uh, in India we get it uh, online and uh, maybe in some supermarkets in uh, many of the metros. I have here a mixed load of vessels. There are plenty of uh, lightly soiled plates. I have got oil containers, a Tupperware container. There is a big and small oil container with the grease you can see. Also lots of spoons, small and big spoons and residual milk residue in the vessels. All these vessels have got milk residue. This is a tea residue. So I am going to load this and uh, run the machine. Let's see how the outcome is. I am going to stack it now.
use a spoon rack here but I don't use that because it occupies space it has to be kept here I can accommodate a vessel in that place so I generally use this place as spoons I could accommodate this tall uh, Tupperware uh, oil container uh, by just raising this uh, upper rack to the highest point. So now it's not touching. The, the spray, spray arm will not touch the Tupperware. So now I'm going to start the cycle. wash program now I'll opt for the 70 degree program so this is 2 hour 15 minutes program if I select the various speed it will, the time taken will be one and a half hours but now I'm going to choose the full program that is 2 hour 15 minutes I'll switch on program is just completed the zero zero has to go then only you can open it. There is no indicator or beep or sound or alarm to say that the, the program is completed. Uh, you have to just wait for the display to go off. Then you can switch off and open the machine. The wash cycle has just got completed. But uh, there was no beep sound or anything. Unlike uh, washing machine or microwave, it would have been good if there was a beep sound which uh, conveys the finish of the cycle. I will show the vessels after some time because it is very hot now. Now let us see how the vessels have been cleaned. You, you see the Tupperware oil container is fully cleaned. The larger oil container is absolutely clean. These are the other vessels with no residue. They are absolutely clean. It's a glass. It's a milk vessel. Each and every vessel has been thoroughly cleaned. And the plates are all very clean. And the plates. You can see that they are all dried. I have taken all the vessels from the lower rack. And this is even the chopping board which I had accommodated. These are the knives. This is another tea vessel. You can see so many vessels have been washed in one day. This was also a small oil container which is thoroughly cleaned. No oil stains. This is a Tupperware oil container lid. This was fully set stuff on stains. I hope I have covered all the aspects of the dishwasher by way of my explanation and the demo. I hope this video benefits all my friends and relatives and all those people who are planning to buy a dishwasher. In the end, I'd just like to tell a thing. If you are a person having problem with maid servant, just like me, and space or water supply or um, current is not a problem, it's not an issue for you, then don't hesitate, don't think twice before making a decision to go for a dishwasher because it will make your life easier and simpler as it is done for me. 
Thank you.